Ah, welcome. Welcome one, welcome all to the college baseball predictions. Now, this is a very popular video I made last year. A lot of people liked this video last year, and it has been highly requested to do again, so we're going to do it again, making my picks for the College World Series. Now, for those of you that don't follow college baseball, well, one, you're missing out. Two, it works pretty much entirely like March Madness. There are 32 conferences. The winners of said 32 conferences get in. And then there's 32 at large bids, making up your 64 team field. It's just like March Madness. Now, of those teams, the top 16 teams, those are the ones that have the little yellow underline next to them. The top 16 teams all host a regional, and it's a four team double elimination bracket. And the winner of that little regional goes to the super regionals, which are here. Those are best of three. The winners of those best of three, the eight teams go to Omaha for the College World Series where they're separated again into two groups of four, two double elimination brackets. The winners of those two meet in the College World Series Championship. It's a best of three. Winner of that wins the national title. Last year, Mississippi State won the national title, and they are not here this year. Uh, they very much are. Uh, they I think they started ranked like fifth. Uh, they are not here. That is interesting. Um, now the one team I followed basically religiously this season, cause I had to, cause of the page I run, I run an Indiana insider page on Instagram. So I followed Indiana baseball a ton. They did not make it in. They were about 500. They, they, they didn't have what it, what it took. They were a very young team though, but let's take a look at who we have here. Your 16 regional hosts are Tennessee, Georgia, Southern Texas, East Carolina, Texas A&M, Louisville, Florida, Virginia Tech, Oregon State, Auburn, Southern Miss, Miami, Oklahoma State, UNC, Maryland, and Stanford. Very interesting. I'm going to see if I can pull up the schedule, see when these games are going to get played. Because I do want to get some streams in, because they are fun to watch. Um, I'll tell you one thing that you really got to keep an eye on here is pitching depth. Pitching depth is key because you're going to probably have to play four games in about three days. You're going to run through pitchers. And so you need, you, if you run out of pitchers, you, you're done for. Uh, but let's, let's take a look. So these games start on Friday. I think it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think it's a three-day thing. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's get into our first regional with the number one overall team in the country, the Tennessee Volunteers. They had an amazing season, finishing 53-7. and seven. There was one point where they led college baseball in home runs, average, ERA, runs scored, runs allowed. They were leading in everything while playing in the toughest conference, the SEC, the SEC is actually better at baseball than they are at football. Don't let anyone tell you differently. It was amazing this season they had. To be honest with you, the, the, the other these other teams, they, they, they can't hang. Georgia Tech, Campbell. I mean, Georgia Tech, Campbell, I think that's Alabama State. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I mean they just they just can't hang. It's just it's not going to happen. Tennessee Going to the Super Regional, easy pick for me here. This next region is not so easy. We have Georgia Southern, who is the 16 seed. They 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 are hosting a regional, and but they've got some tough teams in their in their corner here. They got Notre Dame, who to be honest, I think is the best team that's not a host. Notre Dame's a very good team, uh, and then Texas Tech, also a great team out of the Big 12. UNC Greensboro. Eh, maybe they can make some noise. I, I really don't know, man. I really do not know. I think I'm going to go with Notre Dame, though. I think they're probably the best team in this region. No respect to Georgia Southern, but I just think I just think Notre Dame's going to take this one. I, I really think they're the best team. Now, this is a very interesting 
region here, you have your preseason number one team in Texas who performed a lot like their basketball team. They were uh, they were ranked real highly in basketball, and then they ended up like a sixth seed and then kind of got ceremonially taken out. Um, they're the eighth seed, I believe. I think they're the eight. Yeah, they're the eighth seed. And uh, they got Ivan Melendez, who I've heard and everyone says is the best player in college baseball. That's that's the word on the street. Is it Ivan Melendez? Best player. Oh, Texas. Texas is the nine seed. Hmm. Louisiana Tech's got a solid team. They had a real good team last year, and they got taken out by NC State, who should be here. NC State got snubbed, in my opinion. Um. Dallas Baptist always poses a tough team. Dallas Baptist is one of those schools that's like baseball only. That's what they do. They just. They just are good at baseball. And then Air Force, don't really know much about them, but they're here too. I feel like the safe pick is to go with Texas, but I'm not going to bite for it. Dallas Baptist was in a a region similar to this last year. They were in a region with, I think, TCU. and they They were in a region with TCU and Oregon State and another tough team, and they came out on top. And I'm going to pick them to do it again. I'm going to take the baseball school, Dallas Baptist, uh, to win this regional. Partly partly because we don't like Texas on this channel. Not, not fans of the, of the of the short horn. So, uh, DB, the real. The real DBU. All right, next we got East Carolina, who always has a good team. They're just like Dallas Baptist. They're kind of like a baseball-only school. Uh... And Virginia, who was scorching hot to start the year, kind of cooled off near the end, though. I mean, Virginia was ranked in the top five at one point. They were looking real good. But then they kind of they kind of fell off a little bit. And then Coastal Carolina, another one of those schools, they have a national championship in baseball. Um, and Coppin State, sorry, I think they're a little outclassed here. But... This is a pretty good region. I think it's between Virginia. It's got to be between Virginia and East Carolina. Um, I don't know. Both these teams won regionals last year. Virginia made it all the way to the College World Series last year, though, as an underseeded team. So they're going to have that experience back in their corner. So I'm going to take the Cavaliers to make the Super Regional. Next, we have the, I think, five seed. Yeah, five seed. The five seed is Texas A&M, who kind of came out of nowhere in the SEC. They weren't really supposed to have a real good year. Uh, what do you know? Had a real good year. Uh, very good team in Texas A&M. But TCU is also real good. Uh, they're also real good. The Raging Cajuns, Indiana played them and mopped them. Indiana beat them like 12 nothing, And then Oral Roberts. I don't think Louisiana and Oral Roberts are going to really compete too much here. Um, I'm going to go with a and I mean, they were running. They were doing real well in the SEC. I mean, and these teams are not SEC. I mean, TCU might be. But the, these other teams aren't SEC caliber. I mean, it's got to be. It's got to be the Aggies. Give me a and Next, we have another pretty good regional here. Louisville, these, uh, let's see. In, I know Indiana played Louisville and they played Michigan. They lost to Louisville and took two out of three from uh, from Michigan. Don't know much about Oregon baseball. Um, and to be honest, I don't even know who that fourth team is. I think that's, is that SEMO? Is that Southeast Missouri? I I couldn't even tell you. Uh Michigan usually has a pretty good team. They had a good showing in the Big... Did they win the Big Ten tournament? I, I kind of stopped paying attention to the Big Ten tournament after after Indiana got eliminated. Who? Oh, yeah. Michigan did win the Big Ten. I thought they did. Yeah. Um, so they won the Big Ten with a 10-4 win over Rutgers. They're hot right now. But Louisville's going to be the home team. And they are the best team in this region. 
I'm gonna go with the safe pick and uh, and take me some Louisville. Hold on. Damn it. Okay, there we go. All right, next we have the Gainesville Regional, featuring Florida, who usually is a real good team. Oklahoma, who won the Big 12. Kind of a surprise. I was thinking a team like Texas or a team like, I don't know. Let's just say I did not think that Oklahoma was going to win the Big 12. I, I thought it would be, I th I thought it was going to be Texas or TCU or Texas Tech. Or, I did not think Louis, I did not think Oklahoma was going to come away with it, but they did. Uh, Liberty. Don't know much about the Flames. I'm assuming they got a good, they got, have to have a good team if they're here. But there's one team in here that trumps the rest. And it, oh damn. There's one team in here that trumps the rest. And it's the Central Michigan Chippewas. Now, this team was here last year as a four seed, as an underdog team. And they almost made it to the Super Regional. They faced Notre Dame. They lost to Notre Dame twice, but they held, they gave Notre Dame a competitive game both times. They were running through the other teams in that region. So, Central Michigan, my friend who played for Dayton for a little bit, he's like, they talk so much trash and they're a rowdy bunch. They got a great team. They beat Ball State for the MAC title. Some people think Ball State, my friend who's going to Ball State, you guys know Murray, he's going to Ball State. He thinks Ball State should be here. Kind of got snubbed, maybe. But Central Michigan, man, they had to have some fun. They're a rowdy bunch. They're my they're my underdog pick here. Give me uh give me the give, give me the chips with a chip on their shoulder. Central Michigan. All right, now we got Virginia Tech, who had a real good year. Real good year. I think they're the three seed. Uh let me look. No, they're the four seed. Virginia Tech had a real, real, real good year. But they got to deal with a team that Tennessee knows a lot about, and that's Wright State in game number one. Wright State was all over Tennessee last year. And Wright State, Wright State won their conference championship 24 0. Wright State was walloping Tennessee. Tennessee came back, hit that walk off Grand Slam, y'all all saw last year. But Wright State's a damn good team. Uh, Columbia? is here out of the Ivy League. And Gonzaga, who also has a real good team. That's a tough region, man. Tough region. I really want to go to Wright State. I really do. Um, man, I think you can make a case for any of these four, honestly. Uh, I, I think Columbia is kind of the odd man out. I don't. I think they're definitely the, the, the least likely to win of these four. You know what? We're taking Wright State. Actually, no, we're not. We're taking Gonzaga. That took me a while, but I'm going to take the Zags. Uh, they had a kind of poor showing last year when they made it here. They were in Oregon's region and lost. I think they're going to have a better performance this year. I'm going to say they take down Virginia Tech in the title game and uh, get themselves some super regional action. How about that? How's, how's that, Gonzaga? Does that work for you? All right, next we have the Stanford Regional with Stanford, Texas State, UC Santa Barbara, and I think that's Binghamton. And the reason I think that is because Michigan State played them in basketball a few years ago. I think that's Binghamton. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Stanford is the two seed. Very good team, Stanford. Won the Pac-12. I think they won the Pac-12. Uh, and they're looking real good. Real good they're looking. But Texas State, do not sleep. Do not sleep. They won the Sun Belt, I think. I think they won the Sun Belt. And they got they got they got some ballers, man. Texas State. I remember earlier in the year when Texas was ranked number one, they had a three game set against Texas State. I think Texas State swept them. Either swept them or took two out of three. I'm gonna take them. Bobcats are gonna win this regional. You heard it here first. Texas State will upset Stanford in the title and win it. 
All right, next we have uh, kind of a weak region. Maryland is the 15 seed. And I don't know, they're not that great. I mean, they, they are a good team. They have 40 wins. They're, they are a legitimate team. IU beat them. They went 1-1 against them in the Big Ten tournament. Um, man, I'm not sure how good. I don't know how good Wake Forest is. I, I have I have no idea of knowing. UConn, I know UConn's decent. LIU Brooklyn. I think they might be a little outclassed here. I'm going to take Maryland. I think I think they're clearly the best team here. I don't know much about the other teams. So we're going to take uh, the Terps in this one. Next we have the Chapel Hill Regional with UNC Georgia VCU who made it last year. I never I remember. And Hofstra I'm going to take UNC. I feel, I feel like it's got to be. It's got to be UNC. I, I don't see any of these other teams. Compete in UNC. Great team. They're usually real good. I think I got him here. All right. Next, we have Oklahoma State, Arkansas, Grand Canyon, and Missouri State. Now, I'll tell you who I am not picking, and there's a good reason for it. it it's, it's Arkansas. They were ranked in the top five to start the year. And had kind of an underwhelming year. Obviously good enough to get here. Still a great team. But but the last two College World Series brackets I've made, you want to know who I picked both times? Arkansas. And they let me down in horrible fashion both times. I'm not picking them this year. Oklahoma State, studs. They got some ballers, man. Give me a... Give me the Cowboys. I, I, I would like to see uh, Arkansas prove me wrong. I don't see it, man. I don't see it. All right, now we have a stacked regional and Canisius. I'll give you a little assignment. Here's your homework assignment for me. I want you to look up Canisius's baseball field, okay? I want you to look up look up where Canisius plays baseball and uh, and get back to me. On what you think of their field? That's your. That's just your little. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil anything. But let me know what you think of Canisius's field in, in the comments if you did. If you did look it up. All right, but Miami is the favorite. I don't remember what seed they are. Let's look. They are the six seed. But Arizona and Ole Miss played each other in a super regional. Last year, I think Arizona came out on top on that one. But those are two real good teams, Ole Miss and Arizona. Uh, this, the Coral Gables Regional in Florida, I think it's going to be Miami. My, Miami, Miami's, Miami's going to win it. I mean, they, I mean, the baseball talent they get down there from Miami, oh, oh, they get some talent, man. Uh, I definitely think they are a step above those other teams. Give me the Canes. Next, now here's a team. In Southern Miss that I thought should have hosted a regional last year. They got stuck with Ole Miss and gave him a real good fight all the way to the end. Not enough to, to come out on top, though. But this year, they are improved, and they get to host. And they have Kennesaw State, Army, and LSU coming to town. They're going to have to bring their A game. Those are some good teams. LSU always finds a way to win. I mean, they weren't real good last year, but they found a way to win a regional held in Oregon as the three seed. I mean, I mean, they're gonna they find a way, man. <coughs> <coughs> I like what I see out of Southern Miss, though. I really I picked Southern Miss to go to Omaha last year, didn't pan out. They're better this year, man. They are better this year. They're what the eleven seed. I think they're taking this one. Southern Miss will win it and go to the Super Regional. All right, last two. We have the uh, the 14 seed Auburn against U. Ooh, ooh, we got some good teams here. UCLA 
Another one of those teams always fields a good baseball team. Florida State. Did you know Florida State actually has the record for the longest consecutive times in the tournament? And, I, I, oh, God, who's that fourth team? Oh, jeez. I, I couldn't tell you. I, act, I actually couldn't tell you who that last team was. I, I, I don't know. I think it's Stetson. Hold on. I got all the games in front of me here. Hold on. I'll find it. Uh... What is that team? Oh, my God. What is that team, dude? What the hell? It's just an S. So oh, here it is. Southeast Louisiana. Mm. Well, I don't think they're coming out of here. Oh. Auburn home team. Obviously, big advantage. I think I know who I'm going to take, though. I think I'm going to take Florida State. They know how to get around. They know how to get around here. I mean, they've been here so many times. They got the tournament experience, man. FSU to win it. And lastly, let's take a little trip up to Corvallis, Oregon, home of Adley Rutschman, and a very recent national championship, Oregon State. I mean. I know they aren't very good at, sorry, Oregon State fans, but you're not very good at many things. Baseball is one of them. Baseball is one of the few things you can hold your hat on, and y'all had a great season this year. Uh, big contenders in the Pac-12. Pac-12 and the SEC are the two best conferences. Big show in the Pac-12, but you got Vandy in your region. That is a tough draw. Vandy made the national title last year. And won it the year before that. But they don't have Jack Leiter and Kumar Rocker anymore. San Diego, home of Chris Bryant. They usually put together a real good team, and they have another one this year. San Diego could be a sleeper, not very far from them on the West Coast. And New Mexico State, yeah, well, well you never know. I am going to go with the Beavers, though. I think Oregon State, People, some people are ranking them ahead of Tennessee. I, you're on crack. But Oregon State's a very good team, and I do think that they should thrive at home and win this regional. So now, here's who we got. We got our 16 super regional teams. I tried to pick some upsets in there. I didn't want to just pick the higher seeds. I tried to throw some, uh, throw some curveballs in there. Pun intended. And now, now these series, like I said, are now best of three. And the top eight get to host. Now, in a spot where I'd like Central Michigan and Gonzaga, both of them, both of them, what's it called, wouldn't be hosting. I don't know, but I know if, if you're a top eight team, you get to host the Super Regional. So... Let's let's do it. Let's make some picks. Tennessee and Notre Dame. Like I said earlier, T Tennessee's the best team. They, they, they just are. I, I mean, they got a guy that throws 105 out of their bullpen. Ben Joyce, I think's his name. I mean, I mean, come on now. It's 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 Tennessee, man. It's 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 gonna be Tennessee. They they have ran through everyone this year. And they play with swag, man. They hit the ball. They pitch well. They are literally the best pitching team and the best hitting team. I don't know how you beat that. Next, we have Dallas Baptist and Virginia. A rematch of last year, I think. I think these teams played in a Super Regional last year. Virginia took it last year. Mm, I don't know. I really don't know about this one. Um, 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 I'm going to take, I'm going to take the revenge-minded team. I'm going to take DBU, Dallas Baptist, to Omaha. Next, we got Texas A&M and Louisville. Texas A&M's the 5, Louisville's the 12. Hmm. A&M kind of came out of nowhere this year. Louisville, Louisville's good, man. I mean, they're always good at baseball. Louisville slugger, man. Come on now. I think I'm gonna take the cards. Give me, give me Louisville. 
to to come out of here, man. I, I like their chances on the road. I mean, they're they're a tough team, man. Real tough team. And the miracle run is coming to Omaha. Central Michigan, you heard it here first, man. You heard here first is where you heard it. Central Michigan will make the College World Series. Hey, look at Florida. Did you see what happened to Florida last year? They lost 19 to 1 to South Alabama. Think they're beating them? Nah. Chips. Maryland and Texas State. Hmm, two good teams here. I'm gonna ride out with the with the Bobcats. Texas State. All right, I think that's gonna do it for the upsets. We're gonna have some chalk. A lot of these teams are, are kind of chalky. I think Oklahoma State. I think what UNC's the the ten. Oklahoma State's the seven. I think. Make sure I got those numbers right. Yeah, Oklahoma State. I feel like would win it at home. OSU. And then Miami. Oh, I want to take Southern Miss. I really do. I really want to take Southern Miss. I think it's going to be Miami, though. I mean, I, th I just think Miami's going to, be, going to be the better team. And then Oregon State and Florida State. Hmm. I think it's going to be tough for Florida State to have to go all the way up to Corvallis, Oregon, and win a three. I mean, that's a hike, man. From Florida to Oregon? Beavers. All right. Now, I th now I think our groups of four, I think this is going to be the, f I think the one on the left is going to be your first group of four. Right is your second group of four. Let's see. We have our fair share of favorites and our fair share of underdogs here. I think out of this first four, it's going to be, no, it's not going to be Central Michigan. I think it's going to be Tennessee. I think those other teams just wouldn't be able to hang. And from this side, mm, I think it's between Miami and Oregon State. It's between Miami and Oregon State. I'm going to take the Canes, Miami, to the national title. All right, here's your national title, Tennessee and Miami. Hmm. I, I'm not one to pick chalk. And Tennessee would be the chalky pick here. But they've looked so good all year. I think they... How many series have they even lost? The only one I could even think of is I think they lost two of three to Kentucky. But, I mean, come on, man. They're 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 winning it, man. It's it's going to be the Vols. It, it's a 100% going to be the Vols. They're, they're winning it, man. They're, 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 I just... I don't, I don't think they're getting stopped. I really don't. I mean, if they have a lead in the ninth, you're not hitting 105 off that boy, Ben Joyce. And, I mean, their hitting is just... They, they're, they're, I literally would look at their game scores and they're dropping, like, 20 runs. Like, with ease. I mean, come on now. They have the perfect balance of hitting and pitching. And I think they're going to win it. Those are my picks. Do you love these picks? Do you hate them? Do you think I'm an idiot? Be sure to let me know what you think but those are my college baseball picks i want to get some streams in but i have a lot of baseball games of my own too so and i want to do some NH more nhl stuff conference finals are here was it oilers avalanche and rangers and lightning Ooh. Mm. Mm. should be fun but i love you guys see you next time